G command stands for the global command. How it's usually written is that you'll have something like semicolon G as a global command, a forward slash, and a pattern at the center, followed by a forward slash and then a command. So if I somehow want to grab the word, let's say Geralt, and I want to print it out, I can use the semicolon G forward slash, and we enter the pattern, which is the word Geralt, and then we can do something like P. So that just prints it out. But if we don't include P, it automatically adds it, so it prints anyways. And you can see that the lines that contain the word Geralt are being printed, and it shows us which line they're on. If I just want to add the word right after the semicolon sign for all of these, I'm going to go colon G, and then slash the caret sign and a dash, and then space and do capital char. No, actually, just do char because we don't have capital char anymore. And then space semicolon, do a substitute command and then target the semicolon and then replace that with the semicolon the one and only now close that command off and if we run this there you go that's actually kind of cool